Hey guys, it's me Andrew again, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, and guess what? Do you guys remember my, uh, Ratchet Imaginator? I know, it's a little hard to see. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, do you remember that video I made where I was unboxing my new uh, custom-made Imaginator based on Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, that was pretty cool, right? Now, if you guys want to have your own Ratchet Skylander, then I'm going to show you how to create him in the game. After that, I'm going to give you the sound code so you can download him into the Creator app. Alright, here we go. Okay, maybe just a few tweaks. Alright, here we go. First, let's take a look at the look. There are many different weapons you can you could have chosen, but I chose the headshots. As you all know, in Ratchet and Clank, you can switch between many different types of weapons, and you can do so in this game as well. Yeah, the type pull pistols, I, I haven't unlocked yet because I don't have type pull yet. I chose the headshots because uh, they seem to match his, uh, the outfit I gave for him the best. I actually modeled his outfit after the uh, deadlocked armor. There's, uh, there's a clank on his back, which is actually just the mini refrigerator, but uh, it looks almost like clank on his back, doesn't it? And I know his deadlocked armor doesn't have his tail sticking out, but I thought it'd be nice to give him his tail anyway. For head, I've chosen uh, Doe Deer. Okay. For the eyes, I've just chosen uh, Normal Eyes. For the ears, I've chosen uh, deer ring ears. Now, at first, I was actually debating if I should have chosen uh, the spiral horns or not, but I thought, no, these ones look better. Spiral horns may have the stripes, but they're not the right shape. I thought these uh, have the best shape for his ears. At least they have those rings on his ears, which I can use the color brown to sort of represent the stripes. Close enough, right? It the chest I've chosen is the Tech Knight chest. And, and the arms I've chosen are the uh, Robot Bouncer arms. The legs I've chosen are the Android legs. And the tail I've chosen is the King's tail. Now, at first I was actually thinking of using uh, maybe the tiger tail, no wait, uh, lemur tail. I was actually thinking about using that first because it has the stripes, but then again, his, then again, his tail stripes aren't that really visible to see unless you look really up close. So I thought the uh, king's tail would, uh, since it has the bar on the end, it would just look much more accurate. Now, he doesn't really have any headgear, but if you want to give him headgear, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, shoulder guards. Uh, I gave him the doomed dome shoulder armor. And, uh... For arm guards, I gave him the uh, 
bladed arm guards. Those look cool, right? Now, I didn't really give him any leg guards because I didn't think you need them. But you can if you want to. And the backpack is chilled out. It's like this miniature refrigerator. I chose it. I chose it because it, it actually uh, looks a lot like Clank on his back, sorta. Now the size was debatable at first, cause uh, cause you know Ratchet is uh, sorta short-ish. Then again, uh, then again I need to balance his body out, make sure he isn't too tall or too short. So I put his height in the middle. Same with his head. The upper body was just uh, slightly larger than the first two. Muscles, uh, small but not too small. Tail width, don't want that to be too thick. And lower body, actually pretty tall. Need to make sure it's well balanced. Now, I didn't give him an aura, but uh, you can if you want to. Alright. Now here are the colors I gave him. <coughs> See, his face is yellow, and uh, and his hair is basically just uh, brown. Eyes I've chosen, well, white obviously, and bright green, because those are his eyes, right? And for the ears I've chosen. I've chosen yellow, same as his face, and uh, a lighter brown than his hair. Now, now the armor was kind of tricky. I had to go through many different experiments and, and uh, imp improvise it and stuff. So, uh, so uh, the uh, main part is pretty much uh, uh, dark gray, lighter than light gray. I mean, darker than light gray, but lighter than black. You know what I mean, right? And, uh, and I have this, like, a uh, really dark red. I thought that would match the color the best. And orange for that, uh, little thing in the middle. Alright, now for his arms. Most of it is just, uh, black. But, uh, well, the part of the end is dark red. And legs. The legs are, let's see, let's see um, the, the middle part of the legs are black, but, uh, but the, uh, but the waist part and the lower part are both dark red. And for the tail, I actually have to use two different tones of yellow. The first part here is uh, is is uh, main yellow, and the part at the end is a uh, slightly lighter yellow. I need to need to make sure it was evenly balanced. Yeah, for the backpack, I've chosen the uh, regular gray. And for shoulder and the shoulder guards, basically just uh, dark red. And for the arm guards, let's see, uh, dark gray for the blades on the ends, and uh, and well, dark red. So that's how I made Ratchet my way. Now, the powers I've chosen, Master Marksman. You know, some of these abilities actually represent some of his weapons in the game. Like, uh, for instance, uh, this reminds me of the uh, Shock Blaster or whatever it's called. And this reminds me of, like, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Nazo Storm or something like that. Now these definitely remind me of the Glove of Doom or Agents of Doom. 
And this is obviously the the uh, the mini turret glove. Mastered motorcycle mayhem. They actually, he actually had some kind of technological bike or something once, didn't he? And obviously the mines remind me of the mine glove. And oh, master gunslinging it. To me, this is what I see as the equivalent of the Rhino. Like a lot of rapid fire shots all at once. Yeah, master charge shot. Uh, I think it reminds me of when you can charge up the shotgun or something. Or, or whatever it's called, you know what I mean. Hmm, blast zone. Create, press Y to create a danger zone where, you, where your enemies take more damage. I'm not sure if he has an attack like that or not, but he might. Master Death Blossom. Press Y to spin around, find your pistols like uh, crazy. You can now move while firing. Firing in all directions. I'm not sure if he has an attack that does something like that or not. I haven't played all the Ratchet and Clank games. Bounty Hunter. Put a bounty on your enemies. They take extra damage and are slowed. Defeat them t for extra gold. Yeah, no doubt that's useful. See, so yeah, some of his abilities are, uh, are, ac are actually pretty similar to some of his abilities in the actual Ratchet and Clank games, as you can tell. Now for personality. Well, Ratchet. Well, if you're going to uh, order this guy as a custom figure, you're, the, what I did was I changed his name to Wombat Soldier to avoid, you know, uh, copyright risks. And so uh, I changed his name to Wombat Soldier, then uh, sent it to Activision to get the custom figure ordered. And when he arrived in the mail, I changed his name back to Ratchet. Can't even tell the difference. Doesn't have any music or effects. Well. For effects, he has video game. Yeah, that's definitely useful. Well, not useful, but it sounds cool. Now, he doesn't have a theme song, but you can give him one if you want. Now, for voice, I found the perfect voice for him. This looks like a job for the big guns! Yeah, it actually sounds a lot like his voice from the very first Ratchet and Clank game. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, the cool voice is definitely the voice for Ratchet. Now, the catchphrase I've chosen was, this looks like a job for the big guns. Uh, you, can, you can choose a different catchphrase for him if you want, but really it's up to you. Don't really need any uh, styles or effects. So, yeah. That, that, that's how I created Ratchet, my way, in Skylanders Imaginators. No. If you want your very own custom ratchet figure, then allow me t to transfer him into the creator app uh, to make sure you hear it well enough. Alright, get your phone ready, because here we go, right now. Ow. Man, that's really ear piercing at full volume. Remind me not to do that again. Just wanted to make sure you hear it. Alright. Right. Now you can have your very own Ratchet Skylander. Dude, we're back! Yep. So oh, that looks awesome. So yeah. That's how you create Ratchet and Stand in his Imaginators. My way at least. Yeah. Now it's up to you if you want to order a custom made figure of him or not. To me it was worth it. Alright. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. Bye. Hey. Okay.